Hope you're doing good. I'm your host, Jason, and I'm excited to bring forth this tutorial. As in it, I'll be showing you how to make a booking page on Canva website. I'll also be showing you how to accept payment through this booking platform that you will be embedding on your Canva website. To get started, you will need to create a Canva account if you don't have one already. Once you have done that, you're going to tap on websites below the search bar. Then from there, you can select the type of website that you would like to create. As you can see that there are numerous options that you can choose from. For this example, I'm going to be selecting a blank website. So I'll tap on create blank. Then I'll be redirected to a page just like this. The next thing I want you to do is open a new tab and you're going to type in setmore.com and this is going to be the booking platform that we will be using and you can use it for completely free as you can see right here with their pricing plan they offer a free forever plan that will allow you to accept unlimited appointments you will also be able to accept payments for example via paypal square or numerous other payment options you can also customize your booking page. You can also add their iOS or Android app, and you can also customize notifications. You can sell email reminders, and you can integrate with your favorite apps, for example, Google Calendar or Apple Calendar. This is definitely one of the best booking calendars that you could ever come across for this affordable price. So what I would recommend you do is tap on start for free and you can sign up using your email address. Once you're signed up, you will be redirected to a dashboard just like this. Now to get started, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to tap on services. After selecting services, from here you can see some preloaded services, but I'm going to tap on create new service. Then from here, let's say, for example, consultation. After doing that, from here, you could select one of these services, for example, say. So let's say, for example, 30 minutes meeting. I'm going to tap right there. Then I'm going to tap on create. After I've tapped on create, you can see right here, we have created our new service. We're going to tap on it. Then from there, you can edit. You could add a description right here. You could also upload an image. So I'm just going to be uploading a random image for example sake. So you could upload a thumbnail image right there. So let's say for example, I were to upload this image. Just for example sake, I'll be using it as the thumbnail image. After doing that, you can also edit the description and you can also edit the duration if you want. You can also add a buffer time. So let's say I'll have a buffer time of five minutes. Then you'll be able to set the cost. So let's say for example, $50. So you can also add a location if you want, if you like to do it in person, but I'll leave it as is as I'll be doing it online. After you have done that, you're going to tap on update. After selecting update, you can see it right here. But before you start sharing it, what I would recommend you do is go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to tap on settings. After selecting settings from here, you could tap on your brand and you could edit all of these personal information. You can also tap on your profile and from here you can set your working hours. So at the moment you can see that I'm available Monday to Friday from nine to five. If you would like to change that, you can by simply tapping on the time. So let's say, for example, I would like to only accept bookings between 10 a.m. to let's say, for example, say between 10 and 3 p.m. So I'll select 3 p.m. Then I'll tap on apply to all. And I'm also going to be taking an half an hour break. So you could do that. So I'll tap on save right here. Then I'm going to tap on breaks. Then from there, you could tap on add break. And let's say, for example, I would like to take a break from 11 to 11.15. You can do that right there. And you could continue adding your breaks going right down. 
after you have done that you could also select time off if you want so you could tap on time off right there once you're finished you could tap on booking page from the left hand menu option and you can see how it looks so you could upload your banner image right there and your profile image you can also add booking policies if you want and you can also add booking preferences you can tap on customization and you can also customize it you can tap on payments and from there you can select a payment option that you would like to add so for example you could tap on stripe then you could connect your stripe account you can tap on paypal and you can connect your paypal account once everything is to your liking you are going to go over to the left hand menu option and from there you could tap on services once on the services page all i want you to do next is you are going to tap on the share icon at the top right hand corner and you are going to tap on copy booking link after you have done that you could tap on share once more and you could tap on view booking page and you can see how it looks right there so this is what customers will see after you have copied the link you are going to go back into canva and you are going to tap on text from the left hand menu option after doing that you can tap on add a heading once you have added the text box all i want you to do is simply drag it to the top of the page and you are going to simply select the entire text box then tap on link and you are going to paste in the link that you have copied right there after you have done that you are going to tap where you see display mode and you are going to tap on link and you are going to select embed after selecting embed from here you can see that it has been added as you can see right here now if we were to tap on preview in the top right hand corner you can see how your page looks so persons will be able to tap on all services then from there they can select the service that they would like to use so for example consultation then tap on it then from there they can select me they can select the time and date as you can see right there after they have done that they'll be prompt to log in and then they can set up the payment method that they like to use as you can see right here and that's it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching